Hi folks, the lo-fi or low fidelity sound was first heard in vintage tape machines and vinyl records. Nowadays lo-fi is known as soothing or relaxing and you can achieve this effect with the five pedals featured in this video. Links to all the pedals in the review are in the description box below where you'll find current pricing for your region wherever possible. The video has timestamps so that you can jump straight to the lo-fi guitar pedal that interests you the most. Now before I move on, we'd love to hear what lo-fi pedal you're using right now and what you think of it. Let us know in the comments. Ok, let's get into it. Here are the top 5 best lo-fi guitar pedals. The fifth product on our list is the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine V2. The Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine V2 is for adventurous musicians. It's a polyphonic pitch mesmerizer pedal that produces fun modern sounds you will enjoy, including lo-fi. It features a durable body with a pink and white motif. The Rainbow Machine is built around a DSP pitch warping engine that was designed to be slightly flawed, giving off a machine with feelings vibe. There are six knob controls on this pedal. The first is the pitch knob, which allows you to adjust the frequency of the polyphonic pitch warped harmony. It works alongside the primary knob, which controls the volume of your polyphonic harmony. A fun fact is that when the pitch knob is set to noon, you can use the pedal as a chorus effect by using the primary control to tweak the wet signal's volume. Next up is the tracking knob, which adjusts the lag times between the wet and dry signals. The tone knob allows you to roll off some of the treble for a darker vintage sound. The secondary knob is responsible for adding an octave above or below the harmony, depending on the pitch control. When you're using the Rainbow Machine as a chorus, the secondary knob adds chorus voice for a layered effect. There are two foot switches on this pedal. The first is the standard activate switch that turns on your effect. The other is magic, which acts as something extra depending on how you've set your parameters. Here's something you should know before buying the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine V2. You'll have to be patient to get the most out of it, as setting the correct parameters can take a while. If you're looking for a lo-fi guitar pedal that's capable of so much, take a look at the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine V2. The fourth product on our list is the Zvex FX Instant Lo-Fi Junkie. The Zvex FX Instant Lo-Fi Junkie is part of the Vexter series. You can get some very distinctive tones from the Junkie. It does this by using the Lo-Fi Looper's circuit and combining it with compression and vibrato effects. This lo-fi pedal features a silver silk screen chassis and five knobs that act as controls. The volume knob controls the pedal's output levels, while the tone knob alters the sound of the modulation. In the middle is a knob labelled comp and lo-fi, which acts as a blend. Turning it to the left, you get a clear and punchy compression. To the right, you get lo-fi modulation. The depth knob controls the depth of the vibrato, which only affects the lo-fi sound, and the speed knob controls the rate of your vibrato. You'll love that the Zvex Effects Instant Lo-Fi Junkie features a three-position toggle switch that allows you to change the modulation's waveform. There's sine wave, which gives you a more subtle or gentle sweep. The next option is the triangle wave, which is more defined. And lastly is the square wave, which provides a straight up and down sweep. The Lo-Fi Junkie works on distorted signals, so it's great for musicians who love to experiment. You'll also get a fantastic effect on a clean signal. Here's something you should know before buying the Zvex FX Instant Lo-Fi Junkie. Some users note that this is not the most versatile pedal out there. The Zvex FX Instant Lo-Fi Junkie is perfect for musicians who want to experiment with lo-fi sound. The third product on our list is the Caroline Guitar Somersault. The Caroline Guitar Somersault is a lo-fi modulator pedal that will give you a ton of room to experiment with your music. This effect pedal features a durable body that's built to last. The design fits with the adventurous aesthetic that the Somersault has going on. The controls are also labelled with icons instead of letters, giving this pedal a more bizarre feel. Caroline Guitar gives you 8 controls to keep track of. Four of them are twist knobs, two are toggle switches, and the final two are foot switches. First off, the mix knob controls how wet or dry your signal is. Next is the offset control, which offsets the time difference for your dry and modulated signals. The depth knob controls the intensity of the wave on the modulated signal, and the speed knob sets the rate of the oscillator sweep. 
For the toggle switches, the first is a tone switch, which gives you the option of a full range sound or a high end cut on the wet signal. The wave switch allows you to choose from a triangular or square wave, which you can adjust depending on your desired effect. The bypass foot switch works like all bypass switches by protecting your signal. The Havoc switch, on the other hand, removes the speed control so you'll have a maximum rate. Here's something you should know before buying the Caroline Guitar Somersault. Some musicians may dislike the lack of a sine wave pattern. If you're looking for a reliable lo-fi pedal, the Caroline Guitar Somersault is a really interesting choice. The second product on our list is the Strymon Deco V2. The Strymon Deco V2 is an effects pedal that you'll keep on your board for sheer versatility. The Deco V2 features tape saturation and a double tracker, providing classic sounds in a modern package. You can easily get stereo lo-fi with this pedal as it has a practical construction. Strymon gives the Deco V2 a silver body with the controls divided into two sides with a dashed line divider. The tape saturation side is where you can get anything from subtle saturation to a hard-hitting tape distortion. The saturation knob will let you achieve that light saturation or compression to distortion when you crank it up. The volume control of course allows you to adjust your output levels. Lastly, there's a tone knob, so you can tweak your pedal's tone from dark to bright. Another exciting thing is the voice toggle switch. In classic mode, you'll get the response and saturation characteristics of two-track mastering reel-to-reel -reel tape machines. In contrast, cassette mode gives you a compressed and fat tone with a satisfactory response. On the double tracker side, you'll get a lag time knob allowing you to achieve slapback echo or astonishing tape flanging. The blend knob controls how much of the double tracking you'll hear on your signal. There's also a wobble knob which adds random tape based speed modulations. Of course, the great thing about the Strymon Deco V2 is its ease of use. This pedal boasts full MIDI implementation, making it a must-have in studios. There are also 300 MIDI preset locations to access your favourite settings. Here's something you should know before buying the Strymon Deco V2. Some musicians may dislike the high pricing of this pedal, but we feel it's worth every penny. If you're looking for a pedal that works well in gig and studio applications, the Strymon Deco V2 is a fantastic choice. The first product on our list is the Chase Bliss Audio Mood. Like any other Chase Bliss Audio pedal, the Mood is in a league of its own. This multi-effect pedal is built around two channels that work harmoniously to give you a different kind of multi-effect experience. The wet channel is where you'll find an array of depth, reverb and pitch shifting effects, while the looping channel samples and loops your audio. There are six knobs and four toggle switches on the mood, and while this may seem daunting, it's nothing a bit of experimenting won't get you used to. The controls change function depending on the modes you've set the wet and looping channels to. The three wet modes are reverb, delay and slip. You'll get stretch, tape and envelope for the looping modes. The knob you'll be best acquainted with is the musical clock, which controls the sampling rates of both channels. Adjusting it affects everything in harmonised steps, so you'll enjoy experimenting. The Chase Bliss Audio Mood boasts micro-looping, which means it's constantly recording until you turn it on, so a couple of surprises are waiting for you. Of course, connectivity will get you everywhere, and the Mood features advanced connectivity options including MIDI, CV and expression controls, presets and internal modulation for any of the controls. Here's something you should know before buying the Chase Bliss Audio Mood. It's pricey. If you're looking for a lo-fi pedal that's fun to use and explore, the Chase Bliss Audio is an excellent choice. And there you have it folks, the five lo-fi guitar pedals that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like, and if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, check out this one on Weird Pedals on the left, or this one on Jeff McCarlane's Survival Pedals on the right. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now.